Hello, Leo. Welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your reading for the second half of November. I have meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled as always. I will shuffle live. You'll notice that uh, this half's reading is going to be slightly different. Um, I have been under the weather and I'm also pressed for time. But I wanted to make sure that I got videos out there for you all. Okay, <clears throat> so let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right. During that meditation, Spirit showed me a bird in the sky, but another bird had come out um, and swooped it, um, and it had it in its clinches. And later on, within the same meditation, that same bird that was in the clinches um, of the praise, or not the, yeah, the, the praise, um, Uh, clutch it, it flew away um, so you could see it flying far away from the bird of prey so take that how that resonates um, for you I have a feeling that a lot of you understand what that feeling is it isn't necessarily something like a physical person um, that that you could be in the clinches of and it could be it very well could be. It could just be something that um, has a good grip on you and you may need to free yourself from its uh, grip. So that could be anything from stress, anxiety, um, something that you feel um, may have a good hold of you. And you may, like a habit, you may want to break or something like that, all right? So take it how it resonates. It can be any of those scenarios. All right, let's take a look at your cards. We have the Empress that just flipped out. Page of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. I will straighten these out here in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse as well. One more card, please. One more card. And if you've forgotten what the overall energy was for the month of November, feel free to go back and take a look at the video. They want that as well. Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles, Moon in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let me go ahead and try to get these as straightened out as possible. All right. That was weird. Okay. All right. We have three major arcanas on the board, two in reverse. And several people also around you. I feel this is you, Leo, the Empress. You are the nurturing one, the giving one. And I feel like, you know, everything that you do, you do from your heart space. But there is a, um, a need to... I need to focus on the self, focus on you, focus on your learning, your growth, your determination, your fill in the blank, whatever that looks like. Um, so it feels like this month of, 
or the second half of November, you are more focused on you. Um, and I feel like that's actually a very good thing. Um, because as much as you give to others, I, I see that you're looking to give to yourself. And interesting that I said, um, uh, a bird, right? Because we have one, two, three, three, four, or technically a turkey is a bird, uh, bird here. Oh, and interesting. Um, we are in Thanksgiving time right about now. So this is very, uh, appropriate for this turkey to show up. Let's see here. There's a sense of committing to yourself and breaking either things that you had planned. Um, it's, it's almost like before you were like, well, I made plans, so I have to stick to them. But now I'm seeing more of, you know what? Yes, I know I made those plans, but you know what? I need to, I, I, I can't, I can't follow through and I don't really have to make an excuse. Um, I, I'm just not feeling it and I'm not going to kind of an energy and I feel like you're just standing really strong in, in yourself, in your, in your own abilities, in what you can and cannot do, what you choose or not, or choose not to do. And I feel like that actually puts you in a very powerful place overall. So I, I see congratulations to that. Congratulations to that. We have two cards in reverse in regards to um, uh, intuition or things that aren't seen, right? But I feel like you are seeing things a lot clearer now than you've had in the past. There's a clarity about you right now. So I really, 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 really like this. Um, a clarity that you've come across or or maybe it's just take, taken some time to fine tune. And then with this Nine of Cups and the King of Pentacles, again, you're doing you. You know, you may be the odd person out. But, and I, I really like this because I feel like this is you, um, definitely demanding both the, the feminine and the masculine, kind of really balancing those energies out. And you don't mind being the odd man out, you, you know, you're like, fine, you know, I, I will be the one that people call the, uh, the aloof one or the distant one or whatever, whatever they want to call you. You're like, fine, I've made peace with it, but I know what I need to do. I need to be my lonesome self for just a little bit. And actually this is not the nine of cups. I'm so sorry. This is the eight of cups. I don't know why um, I saw the nine of cups, but, I, but like I, like I was saying before, it's like you're walking away from the other people. And you're just like, I'm doing me. <laughs> like, I'm just doing me. That's all there is to it. And I say congratulations to that. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse, the King of Cups in reverse, Three of Cups in reverse, Hangman, the High Priestess in reverse. I'm telling you, whatever you felt previously where it, it, in, in this particular half of the month, uh, whatever concerns or worries that were holding you back, you're, you're liberating yourself from whatever that was, right? So place that into your, into your life and in, into your situation, but it feels like you're freeing yourself from that, from self doubt, from self, um, it doesn't even have to be self doubt. It, it could just be Whatever you were overly concerned about, overly worried about, overly um, fill in the blank about, okay? Whatever you were putting too much time and effort or concern into, it feels like you've disassociated yourself from that. And you said you, you're, you're, you're being very strong and saying, I'm okay 
with taking some time out. And I mean, this is really reiterating um, just the, 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 what this top row is, but also the image that's where it showed me where there's a, the, the claw, right? The grip on something and then you liberating yourself and you going literally the opposite way, going away from whatever had you in its grip. And I really, 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 really like this. This is, I mean, this places you in a very powerful, um, now look at this to get you look at that. Look, you have your boundaries, very, like very strong boundaries and, and like you're like you're resolute about what it is you want and you're not backing down you know you're very resolute you're not backing down you're like this is what I want and this is what I'm going to do I don't care what you have to say about it I mean need I say more I don't even have to clarify anything else because this literally just said it this said it for you so Con I mean, congratulations, Leo. This this is placing you in a very strong energy for this second half of November. So if you're not in that energy, try to remember to take some time out for self. Remember to keep your um, your uh, boundaries strong, and not any uh, not allow anybody to kind of pigeonhole you into the way they want things done. All right, break free from that grip. All right, my darlings, that's what I have for you for the second half of November. I hope this did resonate and until we meet again.